Повтор, повтор. Сейчас кровью зайдет. At a popular tourist spot in Egypt, a shark bit off a woman's arm and leg. Sadly, the woman died, and the sea in the area was closed for three days. The Austrian retiree was walking in shallow water near Hergada's beach while using a snorkel with fins. She told her partner, I'll go back in for a minute. The 68-year-old woman from Kramsch, Tyrol had been in the country with her Egyptian partner for a month and was supposed to go home today. Then, scary footage shows her struggling to get to safety with the help of a flipper as the water around her in Sal Hashish Bay, south of Hergada and the Red Sea, turns a bright red. People who were scared tried to distract the shark, which may have been a mako or an oceanic white tip, but no one went in to help her. A health official in Egypt said that she was then taken to the private Nile hospital, where she could not be saved. It is thought that she died of painful shock, which is most likely a heart attack. After miraculously landing, doctors gave her CPR at the scene, but she died in an ambulance a few minutes later. Tiriler Taj Seitung says that the Austrian Ministry of Foreign Affairs is in touch with the woman's daughter and other family members and the local authorities. It said she was walking near the beach in the area where people were allowed to swim when she was attacked, but it wasn't clear how the shark got so close. In the video, people on a nearby jetty record the woman's attempts to stay alive and talk about her situation. People can hear a group of Russian tourists asking, where are the rescuers? An Egyptian health official said that the 68-year-old woman who had lost a leg and an arm died soon after being taken to the private Nile hospital in Hergada. The official said that she was barely alive when she was brought in, and that medical staff tried but failed to bring her back to life. The official didn't want to be named because he wasn't allowed to talk to reporters. The governor of the Red Sea province closed the area for three days and banned all sea activities, including diving, snorkeling, windsurfing, and kite sailing. The water around Hergada was also closed to fishing boats. Ria Novosti, a Russian news service, also said that the woman died in the ambulance from painful shock. Attacks by sharks are rare in Egypt, but there are more than 44 species of sharks in the Red Sea, and some of them can kill. Gray reef sharks, which are about 6 feet long and have 14 sharp teeth, are the most common. They swim in water that is less than or equal to 60 meters deep. In June 2021, a 37-year-old Jordanian man was tandem parasailing in Aqaba when all of a sudden a shark came out of the water and bit his leg. In the attack, the man lost part of the back of his foot and had tendons cut, muscles torn and several bones were broken. In December 2020, a German woman was diving in the Red Sea when she was attacked by a shark. Her diving instructors got her away from the shark and to safety. The 42-year-old woman was attacked by an oceanic white-tipped shark near Marsa Alam in Egypt. The tourist was taken to the hospital, where her condition is stable, according to Amr Hanafi, who was in charge of the Red Sea. In October 2020, an oceanic white-tipped shark attacked a 12-year-old Ukrainian boy on vacation in Egypt. The boy and his tour guide both lost limbs. After the violent attack at the Red Sea Resort Raz Muhammad, both of their legs had to be cut off. And in the same number of days in 2010, five shark attacks happened in Sharm el-Sheikh. There were four tourists hurt, three Russians, one Ukrainian, and one German. Renata Seifert, a 71-year-old German tourist who went to the same resort often, died from her injuries.